Hi, Bob Farina with Bernard's, superintendent here at the Cresta Villa project in Laguna Beach. We've just broken ground for a senior living center here and we come across some unforeseen conditions in the first part of our excavation, which is pretty amazing. Part of the process of building in the state of California is to have a monitor and that monitor is there to watch for fossils, any archaeological finds, any anything of historical significance for the state of California. Because California has such a rich paleontological as well as cultural uh, history here, this site alone, the whole hillside has a history of Capistrano fossil bed formation, so everything was still preserved underneath and during the first days of excavation. We began digging into the native soils and just after four feet, we began finding fossils out here. So here we have part of a whale's lower mandible, i.e. the lower jaw down here. The object of the game is to kind of explore out where the definition, where the limits of the bone are, and then slowly work away the soils, or in this case, hard rock away from it without breaking or dislodging any of the bone. Matt was out here monitoring and when they dug this hole, behind me, he saw some bones sticking out of the wall. So I was called in to interpret it and I found probably eight more places in the wall where there's bones sticking out. There's uh, two kinds of sharks, there's a white shark and there's a mako shark. We found their teeth mixed up in all of this. And uh, there's one fish here that we thought we had one vertebrate sticking out of the cliff. It turned out to be, when we dug in there, it was a whole string of vertebrates, basically a five and a half foot tuna tail over here, we've got the vertebrae of the tail area, then we're going to the back of the fish, coming into the stomach area right here, there's the, the dorsal fin up on top of the fish, and um, this is the pectoral fin, like your, like your arm, homologous to the arm in humans, uh, in mammals, there's the two pectoral fins. This is the uh, colitherm um, and scapula coracoid, where the where the pectoral fin articulates. A few of the vertebrae are out of place. Uh, you can see one, two, three, four that are out of place. And this, is, this one's clearly very close to the head given its shape. This is one of only two uh, partial or nearly complete specimens of tuna from the fossil record of California. So that's, that's exciting. And if they didn't have construction, we wouldn't have found it. And if they didn't require monitoring, we wouldn't have found it. So the plan's working right. This is proof of the proof of the pudding. This is uh, it's working right here. We're we're doing construction, but we're also saving some of the information that's preserved in the earth. I think it's the most significant find we've got in this whole quarry. Is this this fish? This part of California was underwater until sometime in the Ice Age, probably. We're talking about for 100 million years at least. Um, probably had something to do with the, the formation of the San Andreas Fault and the rubbing of the plates together and the uplift of uh, the crust on the, the ocean side to get uplifted in places so that we actually have dry land in this part of California. So part of the excitement of finding these fossils for me has been just the historic value to them. Five million year old fish and whale vertebrae, pretty exciting. So part of that process is the paleontologist and the archeologist give us the all clear and we go back into the area and continue with our garage excavation of the Crestavia project. So I hope to give you some updates in the future of this process.